above me is where this fireball ran along electrical lines once on Friday night and then three times Saturday night. It's the kind of video that you just have to see for yourself. Brad McDonald of Royal Oak is showing me the video of oh this God, fireball dude. that's become famous in their neighborhood. Yeah. I walked outside right when I happened to watch him. Like, oh, you were outside there in it? He tells me there was a small version of the fireball during Friday night's storm. Their neighbor, Sebastian Nolte, captured that on video. Fire going down our line. The neighbors lost power after Friday's fireball, but they got it back Saturday at 3 p.m. Then around 6 p.m., Brad, his wife, and their baby saw it happen again. How many times did that happen? Like three times, I think. The neighbors lost their power again. You can hear Brad's baby scared in the background. <laughs> The fireball was like more powerful, so whatever they did just made the fireball angrier. So we kind of like collected our breath and we we're wondering, well, is, is it going to happen again? Is there going to be, you know, will it hit a transform over there and cause a big explosion? Thankfully, no one was hurt. In a press conference Sunday morning, DTE Electric President Trevor Lauer said severe weather events back to back seem to be the new normal and we just need to adjust. We have one of the largest electric grids and also one of the oldest electric grids. And I use the analogy of roads all the time. You know, you need to rebuild it. We need to continue to invest in it. However, many customers at this time seem to be more concerned with prevention. It seems like there's no proactive maintenance and it's all reactive at the mercy of DTE.